What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Factorio. Game is still fairly new, although I understand, I believe it was an alpha for a little bit as well. So now it's on Steam as of February 25th. Uh, I and some others here at the Evil PC Gaming Network, our little group, uh, have played a little bit of time on his on this. But then again, but then ATS came out. The game kind of went to the wayside for us. So I figure it. Let's bring it back, have some fun with it, see if you guys are interested in it as well. It's not overly expensive. Uh, I believe it's $20 on Steam. So, uh, you know, it it's something to kill time, and it's also one of those games where, before you know it, three, four hours have gone by, and, you know, you, you still feel like you haven't accomplished anything. So, I mean, if that's not a game for you, then this might not be it, but, uh, you know, you still can get a lot done. Also, a little warning... If you have OCD, you are not going to like this game. It is very easy, and you guys will see it probably very, real quick off the bat, to get things all screwed up and all over the place. And before you know it, you're running conveyor belts over and under and in between and around and it, just to move one product from one area to another. So it can get very messy very quick. And if you're a person that likes to keep things nice and tidy, either you're going to hate this game or you're going to love to hate it, and it's going to keep you occupied and busy for a long period of time. Base stats, or base uh, setup right here on the, on the random uh, generator here. I just click on New Game. Not going to mess with the campaigns. So I'm not going to change anything here either, so I'm just going to hit Generate. And so there you go. If it's free play, your task is to launch a ro rocket to explore space. So, pretty simple. Start small, work your way up with automation, and don't forget to protect yourself from the natives. Now, the natives are, well, they look like bugs. And actually, over here on the upper right hand corner where your mini map is, I'll hit M to open it up a little bit more. These guys over here, these red dots, they look like little cockroaches or little roly polies or whatever. Um, they're more of a nuisance than anything else right now. They can mess you up, don't get me wrong. But, um,. You know, it, it, it's they do get bigger, and for now they're not they're not going to bother with you because you're not doing anything. But the more production you have going, the more machines and the more pollution you create, the more they're going to get agitated, and eventually they're going to start attacking you. Right now, this is not a really bad area to start off in. I've got coal, I've got copper, I've got iron, and I've got stone over here. I've got water to go ahead and get power from. So there's a couple different ways to go ahead and start out. Hit E to bring up your inventory. From here, you can also bring up your crafting. Now you don't really, you can't really start off with much here. You got eight iron plates to start with. It isn't going to give you much, but make yourself an iron pickaxe. And if you noticed right down here in the corner, it gives you a display on what you're making, how long it's going to take, what the components are, and so on. So. As you get into the more complex items, uh, you'll see that bar on the lower left fill up with more stuff. So basically right now, I'm just going around, I'm grabbing some of these basic items, and as you can see on the right hand side, the amounts. You got stone, mining hardness of 0.4, mining time 2, and you see the bar down there. And then the amounts, and this is per little node. So this little orange, this little yellow box I'm on right now, there's 607 pieces of that left there. The same right here for the lumber. So one tree, mining time two seconds, and that's going to be basically it. Now I'm also going to run up here and grab some iron ore. Now if it's out of your range, it's going to turn red. So once it turns yellow, you're good to go. The flashlight also comes on automatically. They do have a day-night cycle here. I'm basically grabbing some of these items here just to get started, get some basic stuff going. It can get a little grindy to start off with because you're running all over the place. But it, you know, really it's worth it. Run down here, get some coal. And there we go. That was a harder 0.9. Here's another 0.9, so it's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, 
Okay, so let's see. What can I start off with here? Boiler, yeah. Stone furnace. So that's what I'm going to be looking for to start with. Because I can take this copper, I can take that iron, grab some coal, throw it in the boiler. So I'm going to make two of those since I already picked up coal and that's the main thing. So now it shows up. I've already got one burner mining drill. Can I make another one? No, I can't. For that, I need iron gears. But in order to get that, I need to take this iron ore and make it into iron plates. So that's what we're going to do here real quick. There is no shift to run button either or whatever. So what you are what you have here is, you know, is your speed is your speed. You can just hit your number one key. Now see that arrow? That's where the output's going to be. So kind of line that up to where you plan on ejecting all this stuff. It could be into a chest. It could be into a conveyor belt. Uh, you know, whatever you want to do. Oh, wrong one. There we go. So we're lined up. I'll just drop it right there. Of course, it's showing it needs fuel. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. Now, it's only going to work for so long, and then it's going to stop because it's got nowhere to put anything. And I already got those. Okay, that's right. So I already had a furnace to start off with, so I'll put that one right there. Put that one up there. Okay. Hit two again to drop it. Now I need to go ahead and get some more. Actually, you know what I should do? You right click when you want to take something out. Just hold it down, you saw that meter pop up, it goes back in your hotbar. So I'm going to put this guy right there. And now, I'm going to make a wooden chest. That shows up in the hotbar right away, and the output was right there, so I'll put it right there. Shift click that right in there, and that should eject everything right out into the chest. Yep, there we go. So I'll let that guy run for a little bit. Because that was all the coal I had, right? Yeah. Oh, screw it. Give me that. I need some more iron plates. So shift click that up there. There we go. So now that thing is going to rip right through there. It's going to give me my iron plate. It holds 99, I believe, in each output. Take some more of that. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about the stone right now. I could set up a miner or something like that, but basically what I need is to get this iron plate going. Got enough for a miner? Yes, we do. So go ahead and produce that one up. You saw it was producing the gears, now I'll produce the miner. And rotate it around by hitting R. There we go. Now I'll make another chest here real quick. I could do a conveyor belt and have it feed right in there, but I don't have the necessary materials just yet to... Uh, you know, to get any kind of automation going yet, but that will be soon. So that's going to fill up that chest right there. Alright, we got the copper plates. I need a little bit more iron plate and make another one. Yeah, there we go, three. Is that enough? Nope. Need nine. Little Minecraft-ish, if you were, you know, if you want to look at it that way. And in a way, yeah, if you have played modern Minecraft, this could be right up your alley. All right, now we got enough. I'll drop that miner right over here. Yeah, once it's been placed, you can still turn it. Just highlight it and turn it, and that's it. 
get some more coal. You can right click and count out how much coal you actually put in there, how much fuel you actually put into it. So, because uh, I don't think, yeah, you can't split something over and over and over to get a smaller pile. How are we doing there? Three. All right. So that's going to get the coal going here for me. And this is pretty much how you're going to be running this for a few minutes when you first start out. Now what I'm going to work up to here is getting some power, getting the starting power going because although I can use these guys, the burner inserters, that means I have to keep them supplied with coal in order for that for them to work. I can go that route as well. That way I don't have to worry about making any power. If I'm going to use this one here, an inserter, that means I do need power. But this one here is basically pretty simple. Uh, easy way to get started if you wanted to go this route coal isn't that far away from me so i actually could go this route and actually to save time i might actually just end up doing that until i can get power going now i am going to need iron plate and iron wheel for this one luckily i have all those right here toss those in there as well Let's see. I'll make four of them to start with. And while I'm in there, I don't have any more conveyor belts than that. Now I'm going to break that down. Yep, I picked up the coal when I did that. Take the conveyor belt, and just by hitting R, you can also change the direction of where it's going to go. And as you can see, it's already starting to move out the conveyor belt. It automatically ejects to it. And if you want to take the conveyor belts back, you pick up the items that are on it. Uh, I want to run this one over here first. So then that way... I can use the inserters to work everything here and then I'll just run the coal back up here because I don't have a splitter. So right now I'm going to have to make, make one conveyor belt to run the coal everywhere I need it to go. For that, I'll take that. Take that. Okay, let's mix more. Now, if you hold down sh left shift and left click, it makes everything that it says it can make. Everything, you know, so if it's it can make 30, it's going to make 30. Okay, so how... Well, if I have to remove stuff, I will. So now I'll send this back up this way. Oh, too far. And all out of that one, so that's I didn't put any more iron in there. And we're out of coal here. If you need to pick up items, hit F. Hold down F, and you pick up everything that's on the conveyor belt. Only 50 to a stack. Now 
Now, I've already got a burner maze. Let's see. Pick it up. Yeah. Now, it fueled itself there. It's still fueling itself. And that's it. Now, it's only going to take fuel unless it needs it itself or the burner here, or the miner here needs it. So, let's pick this bad boy up. Ah, yes, I need to run that conveyor belt over here so I can pick it up. Okay, so let me go back up this way. Now I'm just holding down S and the right click button on the mouse and just picking them up as I go. feeling itself again and now it's gonna throw it in there and it just ran out so there we go don't worry I got more coming to you actually I still have some on me so there you go Conveyor belts are something that you're going to make a lot of. If you can mass produce these right off the bat, then do it. But I don't... Yeah, you can actually, yeah. And there are different types of belts as well. You got faster speed belts and uh, specialty belts. I mean, there, there is a, a, a nice assortment of belts that you can use. Where are we at here? We're over there. So I'm not going to turn it just yet. Alright, all out again. Actually, yeah, what I can do... Let's take this apart. If you drop something on the ground like that arm did, you can just, uh, I think you can pick it up by holding F, but also just put a belt right there. And it'll automatically pick it up. Alright. Grab the miner, put that one there. I'm going to have to get a little creative with this belt here. I accidentally hit the T key. The T key is where you bring up your list of new research, but since I haven't made a research facility yet, Picking this is kind of pointless right now. It isn't going to make a bit of difference because nothing can be researched. I've got nothing in my inventory that can be researched. Okay, so this thing is getting, yep, getting full here. So, take that out. Get my burner. I need to go over one more. Oh, get out of the way. Oh, oh well. I'm not going to worry about it. Nope. 
Damn it, he's dead again. There we go. Had it going the wrong way. Now the only problem is, is he's going to have to try to feed himself, I bet. Yep, he's out of fuel. Hmm. Yeah, there is no way to feed him. Hmm. Well, I'll just have to keep an eye on him. And actually, I don't need all that running up there. Okay, so that's automatically feeding. That's all taken care of. Let's run this back over here. Put in the max amount that was allowed in there, so now he's not going to fill it up. Hopefully, you guys are starting to kind of understand the gist of what's going on here and how much of a nightmare logistically this can be. Now, of course, you can always take all this back out, as you've seen me do, and rebuild it. Um, it will cost a little bit of production time for you know for you to do that, but. Uh, to keep things organized and steady and on pace, you know, it, it, why not, right? Okay, get rid of this one. Actually. He's going to stuff in there. He should feed him. As you can see, he only put five in there. They don't overload them with a lot of items. There is a limit. Now, what I plan to do is I'm going to bring this conveyor belt down and around so this arm can be put right here and feed him. The downside of that is, is I basically just locked myself in to where I cannot put another arm in. Actually... Let me take this out and move it down one. Oh yeah, he's placing everything in there again. So now I can put another arm right here and run the iron plates out. Leaf flew across the yard. Woof! Uh. Okay. Oh, I still need more so I can. Oh, yeah, I do have enough. Okay, good.
put him there. Put him there, and of course it's just going to dump it right there on the ground. Alright, there we go for now. Most of this is going to run on its own until some of these items run out of coal. But it is going to allow me to start to automate some of this. So then actually I can just come over here and grab this iron plate as it comes off. Or I can just go in there and grab it myself. And I'm gonna make another one of these. Make another. No, well, I don't know why I just did that because I already have plenty of freaking chests. Yeah, I don't. I can just do another chest right here. Actually, let me. He'll feed himself, of course. Uh, is he going to feed him with... Yes, he is. Nope, no, he isn't. Yes, he is. There he goes. He's going to feed him. Nice. <laughs> now, I might have to invest in another miner down here so I can keep the coal production going. It does look like some of it is still coming through but eventually this is going to whittle down and it'll be out of his reach you know so I have to kind of keep an eye on that not a whole lot's getting by these guys nope three so far you took that one Well, maybe more than I thought is going to get by. Excellent. Alrighty, I think I'm actually going to call it there on that one. What I can do here, actually, though, is, is take this out, take that one out. And he will just dump it right in that chest. Excellent. So next episode, I will go ahead and start working on the steam engine and a boiler. I'm going to need an offshore pump. And then the piping, which was right here. So as well as the electrical poles. And that will end up bringing in water from here into the boilers, which will also need coal. So I'll have to run another conveyor belt all the way up there for the coal. And then, because I don't think there's anything else close by, is there? Stone. And a little bit of coal over there. More stone. Yep. So actually, I could set it up over here, because it's closer to the coal. That would, be a, that would be a good idea. The smart idea, right? So, I'll do that for next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't. More leads to come soon, as well as the ATS iRacing. And actually, I want to play Train Fever. I just got to figure out how Dextory can record it or not. So far, it's not allowing me to do it. Train Fever is kind of like uh, Railroad Tycoon, if you remember that game. But a little more in-depth as well with the industries and what you can do. So if I can get that working, I'll be bringing it to you. Hopefully, you guys enjoy that, just like you, this and anything else I do. Until then, take it easy.